going to do is um, I'm going to try and show you just how bugs spread. So um, the, a lot of the diseases that people get, particularly things like flu, are spread through the fluids in your body. And uh, so we spend a lot of time, you know, telling our children and uh, you know, sneeze when you cover when you sneeze yeah. and cough and things like that. And that's because the, the viruses are so small um, that they will be in the saliva and, and tiny little particles of them will be spraying all over the place. And then you put them on your hands and you put them down. So I'm going to try and show you just how far your bugs can spread. I don't want to know, I don't think. So I'm going to go on public transport ever again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think the message here is not to freak people out, <laughs> actually. It's just to be aware that, you know, basic hand hygiene is, is a really important part of stopping disease transmission. Mm -hmm. um, but I am absolutely not one of these people who spends all of their time with a, you know, antibacterial spray going around after, after people, my children, cleaning everything up. Because I think, actually, some exposure to, to um, different germs in your environment is actually... A natural part of the development of our immune system. Right. So, so you've got to have a little bit of balance. Exactly. A bit of balance this. is good. Yeah. A bit of balance is good. So what I'm going to do, I have put um, I've put a UV fluorescing powder on my hand, which if you can imagine, this is my saliva and I've sneezed in my hand while I'm out of the studio and I have basically just, uh, I'll show you in a minute with a UV light, you'll be able to see where my hands have gone. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to uh, replicate a sneeze. Um, by uh, blowing some of this powder so that you can see just how far it goes. It goes, and this is going to be a lot less uh, violent than a sneeze, because obviously when you sneeze, you you know you can spray hundreds particles miles a long way, maybe yeah. not hundreds of miles, but a long way. <laughs> so Hello, Helen and myself are ducking. Yes, yeah, so here we go. go. Okay, so if I just go, <laughs> and she blows, and all this dust well it's landed on me and i'm about three <laughs> feet away from you have you got some there Helen? i've managed to get yeah yeah I've thanks for that Renee. So, okay so then what i'm going to do in sort of csi style is come in with my high-tech uv light and if we start Which over by I've the door the, um, that's why we've got the lights down you can here. see that uh, the handprint that i have made with uh, all of my saliva and germs and lovely mixture of you know goodies from my oh, nose all over the door they've handle. come over the door handle and they've come over the chair from where i've been sitting down there's a nice big hand mark there and interestingly materials like this um some bugs can live for quite a long time outside of the body on how long on some materials it depends on what it is okay um but uh, I always wonder that actually, yeah. you know, because you, you know sometimes you go out the toilet and you touch the door and it's mm -hmm. wet. Yeah. Like, and you just think, oh, yuck. And well, I'm always think, reassured by that. Cause that yeah, because surely that means someone's just washed their hands and not dried them. Oh, well, I, yeah, you're right. Possibly. Okay. Yeah. But, but you just know that you kind of, you're in contact with somebody, I suppose. And you wonder how long, you know, if they were there 10 minutes ago. Is that going to be a problem, Helen? Um, well, 10 minutes, possibly. I mean, viruses can't survive outside human cells. So once you sneeze, you'll, you'll be sneezing out some of your own cells as well. So the virus okay. will be in there. But probably within a few hours or, in, or certainly within a day or so, that virus would have died off. A day is quite a long time. A, a bacterial infection, you know, they're much tougher cookies. Mm. They're going to they're gonna stick around. So uh, you can pick those up and uh, say anthrax in the soil, for example, you can pick up decades after it's originally gone there. So... Yeah, virus is easier, easier to spread, mm. um, but they'll, they'll quickly die off, but your bacteria... There are some quite...